Well, it's a beautiful Saturday here, and I thought what better to do than work on the XFR. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do the trunk. I'm going to show you guys how to get it to open automatically when you press the key fob or when you press a button inside the car. I think those of you who bought a second hand XF probably don't know that it was designed to open automatically from the factory. And when they were new, they used to open automatically um, and some didn't. And I'll show you a small design flaw in Jaguar's design that actually made the trunk not open automatically. But we're going to do a little mod today that's going to make this trunk pop open when you press the key fob without fail. Now I'm going to try and get this light fitting out of here. You can actually just unplug it really. Just take the whole thing off. You're going to need two new gas struts and I'm using a little um, vernier type thing here to measure because I'm going to be drilling a three millimeter hole first and then a 3.5. So the, the best thing to do is rather drill a small hole to begin with and then expand the hole with a bigger drill bit. The screws that I'm actually using are these two screws here. They're flat heads and they just use a star screwdriver and these will actually have a washer that goes onto them like that and then I'm going to put this rubber grommet over this so that I have not too much of the screw actually sticking out because I don't want the screw to go through the, <laughs> the top of the trunk and um, make a little dent there. So the screw that I'm using is actually a 16 millimeter screw. So it's 16 millimeters long. The inside of the screw is actually 3.4 mils and the outside of the screw is around 4.1, 4.2 mils. So we are safe in making a three and a half millimeter hole for the screw to tap into and your screw must be a self-tapping screw like that. It must have a very sharp end and it must be able to self-tap when you're screwing it in. Obviously you're going to need a star screwdriver. I've got a flat uh, here at the moment but I'm going to be using a star and then you need a drill. So where you're actually going to be drilling is this, you'll notice there's a little cap here which actually hits the top of this mechanism over here that can actually move and there's actually a spring attached to that and that spring is actually what uh, pulls the trunk into the upward position but if your gas struts are not good and they're old as they are in my car they're not going to do the job well enough also make sure that all your hinges all these little areas here are well oiled and you can use sewing machine oil for that and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove these um, little rubber covers and you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like when you take it off. It's just a little rubber grommet that they actually stick in there and you can see where the mechanism has been touching it when you close the trunk. But this is not enough to put enough pressure on the spring to make it pop up. So what we're going to be doing is by having our screw we're actually going to create this much space. Well, maybe a little bit less because I'm going to compress it with the screw when I screw it in. And the nice thing about using this little rubber grommet is it makes it adjustable. You can actually adjust the screw in or out depending on how violently the trunk is actually lifting. And we can only see that once we have the screw in place. So we are going to be drilling a hole in there into the trunk and you can see there is already a hole there but we're going to drill a hole into this section of the trunk over here where the screw is actually going to screw into. Now you can use a 19 millimeter screw I'm using a 16 mil because like I said I don't want it to pop out on the other end of the trunk so in order to be on the safe side I'm just going to be using a 16 mil screw to get it in there. Before we can actually drill a hole we need to take the gas strut off so what I recommend is only do one side at a time so that the other gas strut's holding the trunk in the upward position, otherwise the trunk's gonna keep falling down. So getting the gas strut off is fairly easy. You just need a very, very small tip screwdriver like that and get it in that little hole there and work the, the clamp out. There we go. 
we basically have that one off and now we're going to do the one at the bottom and you can see a lot of dust from when I polished the car the other day we can actually do it from this side as well from the top down and we can see it's really wanting to give way and you don't have to worry if you break the um, the clamp so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maneuver it out on the top away from the trunk and then it's easier to get it off the bottom now my clamp here in the bottom has popped back in <laughs> there we go and now as you can see we have access to that hole that we need to drill into so we don't have to drill very very far we just need to drill through the metal that's all we need to do so as soon as you feel the drill bit going through the metal stop because then you're ready to widen the hole with a 3.5 millimeter drill bit right so I just want to show you guys we've drilled through the hole over there and it's a 3 mil hole right now so now I've got the 3.5 mil drill bit on and I'm just going to widen the hole a little bit more and there we go it's as quick as that and that hole is now wide enough for us self tapping screw to get in there and do its thing yeah that's going to be perfect I'm just going to assemble my modification here so first I'm putting my washer on and then I rubber grommet and then we're going to get the screw in the hole and start tightening it up now I can feel already the screw is starting to tap in there and it's starting to do its thing it's slightly compressing the rubber grommet that I've got in there and well it's definitely going to hold and I just want to do a test because having just done that you're going to find that just even doing one side the trunk with a new gas strut is going to pop up now the easiest way I think to do this is to get the bottom section in first which is the small section and the bigger section is going to go on the top just get that in there and then we can get the top one in so what we can do now is we can actually just do a test right so I'm going to close the trunk and let's open it up with the key fob it should pop open now you can see it's popping open quite a bit more than it used to and I think once we do the other side it's going to pop open completely so doing the other side it's going to be identical to the one I've just done there we go So let's test it now and what I'm doing is I'm actually leaving the key in the trunk and when you leave the key in the trunk the trunk will actually pop open automatically and there we go I've got the result I want and I'm very happy with that and now the only thing left to do is to get our trunk light in again and you can see it's just turning on already clip that back in get your cable in and plug it into place and there we go it's as easy as that even you can do this at home so I've got the results I wanted and as you can see the trunk is now opening by itself and 
I'm going to leave you guys with some shots of the trunk opening automatically, um, just to make you jealous, so that you can actually do this yourself. Thanks for watching. Cheers. So as you can see, my trunk actually has soft close. I just have to do that, and it will close automatically.